George School District has been a leader in school breakfast, not only in the state of New Jersey, Newark has been a leader nationally. My name is William Torres, I'm in the 10th grade, uh, and what I think about having breakfast in class is it's great breakfast, you can't complain to other people that don't have anything. So I feel very like, filled up, filled up, excuse me, uh, ready to start a great day of learning in Eastside High School. Okay, so just about a year ago, we kicked off our Food for Thought school breakfast campaign. New Jersey was serving a very small percentage of eligible children in school breakfast. We've seen a 21% increase in the number of students receiving school breakfasts. That's phenomenal. <laughs> That's almost 29,000 more children who are eating breakfast every day and starting school on the right. We know that one thing we need for our young people to succeed is for them to be healthy and prepared. And we know programs like Breakfast in the Classroom help them become more prepared so they're ready to learn. It's no longer a matter of can we do it. The real question will always be is do we have the will to do it? Do we have a collective will? And we know it all comes down to one thing, and that one thing is leadership. And it seemed to me that it was a solution that depended on people in the room. This is a problem that has a solution. It isn't a solution that depends on a lot more money. In fact, districts that choose to serve breakfast can draw down additional federal dollars. So it actually brings money. If the resources are there, uh, can we make this happen? Luckily, uh, everyone in your city said, yes, the resources are there, uh, the opportunities there, and why would you not want to give your children the opportunity to start their day off with breakfast? One of the barriers, uh, hold on to your hats, is that breakfast, the 10 minutes that it takes to have breakfast in the classroom, that would cut into instructional time. So we're not gonna, we, we can't do it in this school. Well, I went to our commissioner, sir, and asked him, well, would you be willing to say that, uh, yeah, you could have it as instructional time? We simply said, well, let's just take that rule off the books, and we did it in about three minutes, as I, as I remember. There are today about 34,000 children who, at the end of third grade in this state, cannot read. 34,000 children. Then I looked behind me, and I saw about 300,000 uh, children are eligible for free breakfast, and they're not getting it here. How many of them would be launched onto a far more uh, optimistic trajectory in life had they actually had a true opportunity to learn every day, not starting the day behind uh, the curve because they hadn't had a, a, a good breakfast. Food for thought.